Hey guys, for this beanie we need approximately 200 grams Charmeur Bravo Big. This is a bright red color. I'm going to use circular knitting needle size 9 mm and we will also need a tapestry needle for sewing later. Please find all the links in the description box. For this pattern we need a stitch number which can be divided by 4. So I will cast on 48 stitches. You can watch also the video concerning the basket with pattern only. Link in the description box. So now I'm going to cast on 48 stitches, but first we make a slip knot. I'm going to use the endless cast on. Make sure your cast on is very loose, otherwise your beanie will be too tight. After casting on, pull out the rope right through the middle of your stitches after 24 stitches. Make sure your cast on does not twist. This needle will be always for our stitches and this one will be the working needle, so we pull this one out. For the next few rounds, we will knit the garter stitch. In the first round, knit only the knit stitches. We are knitting through the front loop. You can decide how many rounds your edging should have. So, that was round 1 and in round 2 we will purl. Our front loop is loose. That means we will purl through the front loop. This is the combined or also called Russian knitting. I like to use it because it's really nice for your hands and very ergonomic. You have to alternate between one round knit stitches and one round purl stitches to get a garter stitch when working in rounds. So this is round 3, our back loop is loose, that means we knit through the back loop. We will continue when your edging is big enough. So this is my edging, I knitted 6 rounds. Now we are going to knit the basket weave pattern. Each square or each rectangle has 4 stitches and 12 rows or in this case particularly 12 rounds. So we will always alternate between knit 4 and purl 4. In round 1 our back loop is loose. That means we will use the back loop for knitting and purling. Knit 4 stitches. Now take the yarn to the front and purl through the back loop. Now again knit 4, purl 4 and so on. This is round 2. Our front loop is loose, so we knit 4 stitches through the front loop. Then purl 4 through the back loop. Then again knit 4. Continue knitting this way until you finish 12 rounds. Alternate between knit 4 and purl 4. These are 12 basket weave rounds. Now we will switch the pattern. If you see a knit square, we will purl instead. The front loop is loose, that means purl through the front loop. If you see a purl square, knit instead. Knit through the back loop, continue this way. Then 
This is round 2. Our stitches are now twisted as usual. So we purl again through the back loop and we knit through the front loop. Continue alternating until you finish 12 rounds. Switch your pattern always after 12 rounds. My beanie is now long enough. These are 36 rounds or 26 centimeters at all. Now we're going to decrease. We also have to switch the pattern on this point. For decreasing, you don't have to count stitches. You're going to have your orientation on our squares. So first, we have to switch our pattern and purl instead of knitting. Over your purl square, you have to knit instead and we will decrease the last two stitches in our second square. Do the same for your next two squares. Purl 4, knit 2, and knit 2 together. Repeat this until the end of the round. In our next round, we won't decrease. Just knit and purl your stitches as you seat them. This is round 3. This will be a decreasing round and we will decrease over the knitted squares. So we start at square number 1 to decrease. Purl 2 and purl 2 together. Then knit 3, purl 2 and purl 2 together. Continue this way until the end of the round. Round 4 will be without decreasing. So that's how it looks like after 4 rounds. And we have only 3 stitches for each square. Continue this way to finish your beanie. Alternate always between one decreasing round and one without decreasing. If you have only one stitch for each square, you can cut the yarn and use your tapestry needle for picking up all your stitches. And then we can sew the beanie and hide all the loose ends. Thanks for watching, hope this tutorial was helpful, watch all the other videos and don't forget to subscribe to be notified about new tutorials and until next time, bye bye!